Two accused killers are charged with the murder of Holly Bobo. Defense attorneys argued there's no proof. To date, the evidence remained a mystery until now. Tonight in a News Channel 5 exclusive, the details that led to the arrests of Zach Adams and Jason Autry. Nick Barris obtained documents straight from the criminal file. They spell out the case against the prime suspects. In this matter, I have not received... Two suspects, one high-profile murder. Zach Adams and Jason Autry are accused of killing Holly Bobo. While both sit in jail awaiting trial, their attorneys argue prosecutors have no evidence linking them to the crime. We don't know the results of testing on physical evidence that may tie the suspects to Bobo. So what did prosecutors use to get indictments last year? It could be witness uh, statements. It could be, you know, footprints. It could be any kind of DNA evidence. News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo says the answers are in the confidential case file. We obtained exclusive copies of several critical documents from that file. Absolutely. Anything that's in that criminal file is what, you know, maybe the grand jury heard, or it's definitely something that the state uh, will rely upon in the case in chief in the prosecution. One affidavit for a search warrant spells out the probable cause linking Adams and Autry to the crime. It begins with what Adams' brother Dylan told TBI agents. On the day Bobo disappeared, he went to his brother's home to get his truck. Dylan observed Holly Lynn Bobo sitting in a green chair in the living room wearing a pink t-shirt with Jason Wayne Autry standing just a few feet away. Dylan also described his brother Zach as wearing camouflage shorts, a black cut-off sleeve t-shirt, and a pair of green Crocs shoes. We found the evidence file includes this Croc footwear print lifted from the carport at Bobo's home where Holly was abducted. Does the criminally accused possess a pair that's analogous or similar uh, to the print that is found at the particular scene? Dylan also told the TBI his brother blocked him from further entry into the home and threatened to kill him if he told anybody what he had just observed. Dylan also said Zach told him he had raped Bobo and videotaped it. There have been rumors of such a video, but to date, no such video has been found. Another point of interest, the case file includes crime scene photographs of blood discovered in the carport at Bobo's home. The blood matches Holly's DNA and may help explain how she was taken. You know, there's the potential that a weapon could have been used or that there could have been serious bodily injury uh, in the abduction if it is proven that that blood uh, is a result of some sort of struggle. Another document describes what was found during a search of Zach Adams' home. Forensic scientists recovered a blonde hair covered in dust from a bedroom closet. Is the hair Holly's? Did her abductors confine her in a closet? The results of forensic testing remain a mystery, but the details spelled out in these documents are likely what led authorities to initially charge Adams and Autry with Holly Bobo's murder. Nick Barris, News Channel 5 HD. Today, defense attorneys for Adams and Autry say they still have not received the results of forensic testing done on physical evidence collected by investigators. No trial date has been set in that case.